Chef Buck here. Check this out. We got us some fresh zucchini. Yes. Right out of the garden. And we're cooking us up. Get down here. This is where the action is. <laughs> we're cooking us up some zucchini fritters. Yes. So stay tuned. There's fritters in your future. Today we're going to do a zucchini fritter recipe. We got some fresh zucchini. From Aunt Judy and Larry's garden. That's right. All of uh, Camera Girl's relatives around here, they got big old gardens. They call them gardens. They look like farms to me. Whatever. But the first thing that we got to do before we do anything else is we're going to shred our zucchini and then put a little salt on it to draw out the water so that our fritters won't be as wet when we put them in the skillet. And the great thing about zucchini, you know, super healthy, very easy ingredient to use, but you don't have to do much to it. We don't have to peel it. You know, the skin is delicious. So we're just going to lop off the ends, and then we're just going to give them a little shreddy shred with a grater. You want some nice texture to your fritters. So we usually use just a manual grater. And look at this. This is, this is what will happen if you use a manual grater all the time. Okay, don't be afraid. Do it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but I always do it with my right hand, so I can't show you this one here, because it's kind of sad. Watch your fingers. That's right. I don't want to have too much skin in my fritters. I don't want to end up with any skin in my fritter. Well, you got to expect a wee little bit. All right. Come down here and take a peek at this, camera girl, so you can see it the kind of the texture we're looking for. But look how wet this is. Okay. That's a very appealing. I'm just saying there's a lot of water in uh, zucchini, so one of the first things we got to do is we got to get some of that water out of there. My mama tells me you're not allowed to play with your food. Well, then she's doing it wrong. Ooh, I bet you won't say that to her when she's standing here. So right there we got two cups of shredded zucchini, so we're halfway there. We're making a lot of fritters. I got to be careful because uh, Camera Girl just bought a new knife and it's super sharp. This is a pioneer woman knife. <laughs> because Chef Buck didn't want a pointy end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't like a pointy end knife. A few years ago, I mean, I've been working with knives my whole life, but a few years ago, I, I slipped, and the end of a knife went in my palm, and the, the flesh bubbled out. It was, and ever since then, I've had a PTSD or whatever with a sharp pointed knife, and then I realized I don't need a sharp pointed knife. I ain't even competent enough to use them anymore. This is pretty much almost two more cups. So we've got about four cups of shredded zucchini here. Now if we wanted to, we could go ahead and just uh, squeeze the water out of here as best we can. But I'm going to go ahead, we ain't in no hurry. So I'm just going to go ahead and throw some salt in here. And then we're going to let it sit in the colander and let some of that water voluntarily leave uh, before we get all aggro. You know, we're going to end up losing some of this salt later. And this is all the salt I'm going to add to the recipe. But I'll go ahead and get this mixed in with my shredded zucchini. And there's plenty of water that wants to come out of this zucchini as it is, but the salt will give it some added incentive. Now I'm going to go ahead and throw it in a colander. And we'll put the bowl up under here so you can see all, how much water comes out of here just naturally. We'll just set this in the sink. And we'll let this uh, rest for a little bit and see what nature has to do. Oh, come on, come over here. You interrupted me earlier. I was in the middle of a commercial for the Pioneer Woman Knife. Okay, Camera Girl just bought this here. And I'll have an affiliate link down below if you want to check this knife out. Because we're running a business here and I'm a business man. Oh my lord. Ding! Alrighty, so it has been about a half hour. We've been lollygagging around. And this is how much liquid has come out of our zucchini without any prompting at all. So that's quite a wee little bit. You could drink if, it. If you were a hipster, you know, you could save this and put it in your smoothie, but you know, we're out here in the country. Get a shot of the country. You know? Just drink it. They run they run hipsters out of town around here. You know, we don't want to be mistaken for hipsters. <gasps> no! I'll you really, drink you it. really want this? Yes! She's in more of a health mood than I am. Well, there's salt. It's not the healthiest thing. But. but let me go ahead and give this a squeezy squeeze and let's see what else we can get out of here. Look at that. We're still getting a lot out of there. Gosh, you're a strong man. <laughs> I don't feel that strong. I feel like I'm trembling squeezing this zucchini. So there's quite a little bit more right there that we just squeezed out. So we'll let this drain on its own for another minute or two and see what happens. But I think I'm going to have to squeeze it some more to get any more out of there. 
But while that zucchini is considering getting dry, well, let me slice up my green onions. Because we don't have a lot to prep for this recipe, except for, you know, grating and draining our zucchini. And then I'm going to slice up some green onion here. And I'm going to slice them into some little strips, you know, so that they will, you know, hopefully form well with the patties. So I'm going to give them a little cut. And then I'm just going to slice them into some strings. My table is doing a lot of whining. It's a creaky old table. Nothing That's wrong right. with that. A creaky old cook and a creaky old table. There you go. We're just sitting around in the kitchen one day. <laughs> and you can take your green onion or, you know, even a regular onion. And you can just uh, chop it up finely if you like. But I think cutting it up into strips will help it to form into better fritter patties. Plus it gives it some texture. You get a bigger bite of green onion, which we love. I think this is enough for the amount of zucchini we have because I want it to be a zucchini fritter. I don't want it just to be an onion fritter. But I'll go ahead and give this a little bit of chop so then they're in some slightly more manageable sizes. But now it's got some strings that hopefully will hold together a little better in our fritter. But let's go back over here and see if any more liquid has come out of this zucchini. So just a dibble dabble, and I think that was probably left in there. So it really hasn't. So let me give it one final squeeze. I don't know why it needed to sound like a dinosaur. But... <laughs> it sounded like a dinosaur. Having it was problems? some constipation issues. Yeah, well. Note to self, never say the word constipation in a recipe video. That's smart. That's plenty of liquid out there. Why do you there. keep pouring that out? Oh, I'm sorry. I forget. I forget I'm saving that for you. That's hilarious. All right. So let me dry my bowl out and we'll go use it over here for something else. So now I'm going to bust up a couple of eggs in here. Now I'm going to throw some goat cheese in here. Yes. You know, so we can fancify it up a little bit. Now this is goat cheese with herb. Yeah. Camera girl started buying this here and I'm kind of hooked on it. It's such a great taste. But you can just use regular goat cheese if you like. In fact, you don't have to use goat cheese. You can use any kind of creamy cheese. Maybe a little bit of cream cheese. Just plain Jane cream cheese. And I bought boar's head, which is fancy pants. I did that by mistake. Camera <laughs> <laughs> girl's like, why did you buy the boar's head? Because she usually gets the Publix brand, but I didn't realize it. I, I didn't say why. I was just surprised that Cheapskate bought boar's head instead of the Publix brand. And this is brand. four ounces. And I'm not going to use all four ounces. This is like half a cup. So I'll probably use just half of this here, maybe a little bit more than half. So right around a quarter cup of goat cheese. Now I'm gonna go ahead and whisk these ingredients up. Now I'm gonna add some seasoning in here. We got plenty of salt in with the zucchini. So I'm not gonna put any more salt in here. I'll do a little bit of ground black pepper. And I'm going to add some red pepper flakes here, just for some heat. You know, if you wanted to, you could put in some fresh pepper, some fresh jalapeno, or you could just do some chili powder. But I think some flakes will be nice. So since we're out, my mother-in-law's out in the country, naturally she's got some rich crackers in the cabinet. Now if you wanted to, you could put just some regular saltines, or you could put some flour. Oh, looks like I have to give one of these up. Feed your help. But we're going to go ahead and just give them a crushy crush. Boom, boom, boom. And I'm going to toss in my green onion. Now I'm going to throw my dried zucchini or my semi-dried zucchini in here. Now I'm going to go ahead and mix it up. Get my zucchini and my onion intertwined. Man, that smells really nice. I really smell those ribs. You don't smell the herbs and the cheese. I guess I do smell that goat cheese too. So now I'm going to take me a skillet. And I'm going to heat it on medium heat. I'm going to give me a little bit of oil in here. I'm using coconut oil, but you don't have to be too particular about your oil. Whatever kind you like. So once my oil is hot, I'm going to go ahead and scoop me up some fritter batter and throw it in my skillet. I'm going to just spread them out. And I'm just measuring it out about a quarter cup at a time. And so we'll give them a minute by themselves here before we flip them, but it's not going to take very long. 
And really, the only thing that has to cook is the egg because, you know, zucchini, you can eat that raw. Beep, 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 beep. Go ahead and turn my first one over. It's only been about a minute. Oh, yes. And it doesn't take too long at all for these things to fry up. I got me a little plate here, and I'll go ahead and throw some paper towels on here to catch any oil off of these fritters. Let's take a look here at my fritters. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah. Okay, it's pretty dark on that side, so I'm going to go ahead and call it done. Yeah, buddy. Alrighty, I still think I got plenty of oil in here. We'll squeegee the last of our batter out. So at the temperature I have it, it's taking about a minute, maybe just a little bit less than a minute. And this is a nice skillet. So you really do want to have a nice non-stick skillet for this kind of fritter. Make your life a lot easier. And my fritters here are doing alrighty, so I'll go ahead and pile these off to the side. Put me down another piece of paper towel. Let me give these a flippy flip. All right, so I think it's been going plenty of time. Boom, boom, boom. Not as quite as dark on this side, so that's good. I think I did the other ones just a hair too long. I think this recipe is forgiving. Oh yeah, it's very forgiving. These things are super duper easy, but they look tremendous. And they hold together super duper well. I could have easily got away with one egg, I think. You can use them as a, as a frisbee. You know, in some of these old houses, you get a leak in the roof, you can just take this up. Hey, smart on that butt. Hole. Smart butt. I want to get out the sour cream and applesauce and eat them hot. Sour cream and applesauce? Yes. This well, isn't dessert. I like a nice savory fritter. This ain't an apple fritter. Have you ever had pork chops and applesauce? Uh, you know, I avoid that. I don't want apple on my pork chop. Or you know what? What else do people do? People put mint on um, lamb. Mint, mint on lamb. What? I like a mustard sauce on my lamb. I like savory. Okay. Apple sour cream on here you're we insane ready? We yeah, ready? yeah 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 we can uh yeah we'll eat them while they're hot Yay! that'll be a novel idea Let's give it a go so we got six nice zucchini fritters from that recipe we just made let me give it a taste before i put any sour cream on here this is just a plain jane fritter that cheese had herbs and the green onion yeah this is just plain without any kind of sauce or dressing or anything on here and it is super flavorful i tell you using that herbed goat cheese that really makes a big difference and you know rich crackers rich crackers have a lot of flavor they're kind of <laughs> decadent and buttery so you know you can use flour but those ritz i'm sure adds a lot of richness to these and definitely the green onion i mean there's a lot of flavors coming through i'm getting them all because zucchini doesn't have an overwhelming taste. You know, it's kind of a sort of a neutral flavor. You know, so you can use this in a lot of different kind of recipes. That's why zucchini bread is so good. You know, it has a very neutral flavor. It's not like broccoli or asparagus or anything like that. It'd be great for breakfast, lunch, dinner. You get up at 3 o'clock in the morning, you want to watch some infomercials. You know, you're looking for something new and shiny to slice, dice, and chop. You know, you can do your own slice and dice and chopping and cook you up some of these while you're watching infomercials. That's fascinating. You know, eating at 3 o'clock in the morning, that's an old habit I used to have. Can I eat and, now? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, yours ain't as hot as mine. Mm. Super duper, ain't it? It really is. We'll, we'll, we'll give your Aunt Judy and Larry uh, some credit here. We'll say that it's super duper delicious because we got this fresh zucchini right out of the... I don't know, do you pull it out of the ground like a potato or does it come no. off a tree? What is it? It's a vine. A it's vine? A vine. You've never had to pick it. No, no. I'm, pr I'm pretty sure you dig it up like a potato. No, you do not. Hmm? But also, they did give us good tender ones. Sometimes when you go even to a farmer's market, they want to give you these huge... You do not want yeah. squash or zucchini. The smaller big. the better. And that's true for a lot of vegetables. You're trying to say this is weird, but you just put a little bit of creaminess with it. Yeah. And, uh, all right, I'm going to try it just like that first. Before you uh, mess it up with your applesauce. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I mean, these are Don't great all on their own. And, I mean, you Don't can you add like that little bit of creaminess as a treat. 
Don't you like... Um, but now you're just putting sugar on there. Don't... Have you ever had mango chutney or any kind of sweet chutney on like fish? Well, of or, course, of course. But I'm not a big fan of that. I want my sweet afterwards with a cup why, of coffee. Why are you telling me all these dark secrets this many years later? So what do you got? So you got a little bit of your applesauce on yeah. there? Yeah. cream? Alrighty. That's the way to go? It's layers of goodness. Yeah, well, I consider myself layers of goodness. <laughs> so we're going to finish up our fritters here. You know, and if you want to check out this recipe, you know, I have a link down below and you can go check this recipe out over at myfoodchannel.com. We got all our recipes over there. Uh, we appreciate you watching and doing all the stuff uh, that helps us out. Thanks a bunch for that. Uh, we got more recipes coming. Hope everybody's having a great weekend. Um, we'll talk to you in the future.